Yo, my name is Blake, and I'm here with another tutorial to teach you how to get AutoTune or any other plugin into Logic Pro X. First of all, let's just start with saying that um, Logic Pro X versus 9, Logic Pro X runs on a 64 bit platform, which means 64 bit. I don't know exactly what it means, but it just means that all your other plugins, which are 32 bit, will no longer be supported. Now, you know, it get, it get irritating, you know, because you want to use your good plugins that you have, you know, let's see, such as, I don't know, all of these beautiful effects. You want to use probably some of these beautiful effects. Or even some old vintage plugins you have, like Nexus, Gladiator, anything like that. But now you can't because guess what? Apple fucked us. Yep, that's what happened. All right, so the first thing I want to say is, in order to get 32-bit plugins, such as AutoTune or anything in there, you want to go to 32 lives. Free, just type it in Google. Follow what I'm doing. So, there's nowhere you can get this free, but you have to go to this website, go to products, 32 lives, and here it is. It's a hundred dollars. You pay a hundred dollars, and you can have all your 32 plugins, 32 bit plugins, working in Logic like nothing ever happened. And the way it works is. You click, you download, you install it, and then you go over here to Finder. You go to Applications, 32 Lives, bam. You click it, it's going to go through all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this. It's going to take forever. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to select all of your plugins that you want. And then you're going to click resurrect. And that is that. Next time you open up Logic, Logic's going to scan. And it's going to know exactly where your plugins go. But let's say you want to know where do you put the plugins at. So what you got to do is you got to go to your hard drive. You have to go to your library, audio. And you have to go to plugins. And bam, this is where they go. Everything from VST3, VST, components, all that, you know. And this is this is where they go. And as you can see, I have all my plugins in here. Bam, it's just like that. And now you notice that even though I have the real plugins, what the sound wrapper does is it makes a copy of it and treats it like it's 32 bit. So now when you go into your logic and you want to load up your auto tune, it's gonna go bam, still evaluating. It's gonna go like this. But you see how it glitches a little bit? Alright, that's the disadvantage of it. My best advice would be to record all your vocals and everything with your 32-bit plugins and Logic Pro. Then when you're ready to mix and master, export everything down and put your final touches on Pro X. You just go back and forth between the two. You know, it's not really hard um, as far as where would you get auto-tune from? You can download the trial from Antares, download it, go through the steps, and so forth. Or you can be a pirate and go find out how to get it by yourself. Um, so that's basically how you would be able to get auto-tune and all the other plugins working if they're 32-bit. So, all right.